Okay, our last video here, we want to make a uh, nice uh, diagrammed picture of our automata box. And so we're going to go up to File, we'll click New, and we're going to make a drawing file. You can click the IED uh, Specialized uh, File, Create, and um, we'll say something in the title, My Automata Box. Okay. And then we're going to place the entire animation, or the entire uh, assembly into the uh, into the drawing file. Um, you can kind of figure out how big you want it to be. Something pretty nice. That's probably good. We're going to keep it all colored. So turn the coloring on. Okay. Looks good. And we're going to move it down here. Because what we want to do is we can go to annotate and there's a parts list and we're going to select the assembly file that we just have um, and then we'll click OK and then you'll see this box here and you can drag it in here, here and click it in there and it makes it a, a, a parts list. We don't need it to be quite that big, so well, we want it to okay, that's good. Okay, so what you can do is you can label some things if you want. You don't really have to label everything, but um, the things in the parts list, they're numbered by items, so if you click balloons and you click like on the crank, you can drag out and then I, I uh, left click and then I kind of go over usually and then left click again and then I right click to continue and that puts that part number four which is the crank on there um, you could do you could do several things left click left click right click continue um, definitely want the Cam, left click, left click, right click, continue. Um, I don't know if you want to label everything or not. One, two, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. We got them all in there. So you can label things around. You can, uh, let's see, an escape. Um, you can move this around a little bit. You can come up in here um, and you can just right click on these things to uh, kind of write it. Cause basically, they're putting the, the kind of the part file number or the file, what name of it in there. So you can actually change it. Like elliptical cam, um, snail cam, so on, things like that. Um, like in the follower assembly, let's say we don't want that to show up. So you can come over here in this and you can right click on it and turn off visibility and apply that, and you'll see that it's all these ep um, the elliptical cam, snail cam, the Follower assembly is not uh, showing there anymore. Um, we don't really need to do the box assembly in the parts list. Get rid of that. Um, don't need the underscore there. Axel bushing. Axel crank. Apply all those. Okay. Um, and then, so we didn't, we don't have a five here, so um, I'm gonna delete that. Um, what else did we get rid of? Seven, one, two. So we don't have a one. Let's see. I wonder if I can do this. Let's see. What if I come in here? Can I change the item number?
apply. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So we can just get the we can number the parts that we're just gonna we want to show, things we want to highlight, apply all those. Okay, and parts one, two, three, four, five. We might want to move this up in here more now. Okay, and uh, that's how you make a little drawing. You can uh, you can screenshot this, or you could just file, save as, save as. Um, Let's see. I guess I just save as a drawing file. I thought maybe I could save it as a oh export. I bet export image as like a JPEG or a PNG. I'll do a PNG. Save. Okay. So I should have now a, a image of this thing that I could actually put into my uh, portfolio. So that's kind of the last thing you have to do. There is uh, get a little. Uh, diagrammed uh, drawing um, file.